to today's video where we will be talking about divisibility. Our problem is the following, which comes from a GRE math subject test practice test. What is the greatest integer that divides p to the fourth minus one for every prime p greater than five? And the choices are 12, 30, 48, 120, and 240. Okay, so what we'll do is take a look at the expression p to the fourth minus one, do some factoring and look at the factors to be able to figure out what integers divide it. Okay, so p to the fourth minus one is the difference of squares. And so we can factor it in the following way. And if we fully factor the remaining difference of squares, p squared minus one, we get the following factored form. So let's examine this quantity right here and look at divisibility by various small integers to figure out um, the answer to this problem. Okay, first let's look at divisibility by two. Since p is a prime greater than five, each of these integers here is even. And so we get a contribution of two, two, and two as a factor from each of them. So hence, this expression, p to the fourth minus one, is divisible by eight. Okay, so one of the things we have to ask ourselves is, what is the question that's being asked? We're actually looking for the greatest integer dividing all integers of this form, ranging over all primes p greater than five. So if it's possible to get a higher multiple of two as a factor of this expression, that would be good for us to record. And in fact, there's a way to see that we do get an extra multiple of two, and it's the following. So notice these two integers, p minus one and p plus one, are not only odd, but they're actually consecutive odd numbers. p plus one is exactly two more than p minus one. So for instance, if p was 11, we'd have 10 and 12. If p was 13, we'd have 12 and 14. If you have two consecutive even numbers, one of them must be divisible by four. So one of these two is divisible by four. So among these integers, we have something that's divisible by two, something that's divisible by two, and something else is divisible by four. So in fact, we can say that the entire expression is not divisible by only eight, but is actually divisible by 16. Great. Okay, let's take a look at divisibility by three now. Again, notice P is a prime, right? So since P is a prime, three does not divide P. So P either leaves a remainder of one or two when divided by three. If the remainder when p is divided by three is one, then p minus one is divisible by three. If the remainder is two, then p plus one is divisible by three. So regardless of what p is, one of these two values is divisible by three. And so the expression p minus one to the fourth is indeed divisible by three. Okay, now that's great, we're on our way there. According to the answer choices, we've ruled out 12 and 30, and now we have 48, 120, and 240 left. In fact, at this point, we can rule out 120, because we know 48 is a common factor of everything. 48 doesn't divide 120, so the answer is gonna be either 48 or 240. 240 is five times 48. So this begs the question to look at divisibility by five. Right. So the question is, is this divisible by five? Uh, so one thing you could do is look at the various values that P can have when it's from, uh, the remainder P can have upon divisibility by five and look at this expression to figure this out. But in fact, we can do something else if we take a look at this expression, the expression is p to the fourth minus one. 
And since p is a prime greater than 5, p to the fourth is congruent to 1 mod 5. A little theorem called Fermat's little theorem. Fermat's little theorem says that an integer is divisible is an integer that is co-prime with a given prime number when raised to the power of one less than that prime number is one mod that prime number. Great. So this expression is also divisible by five. So if it's divisible by 16, by 3, and by 5, these three numbers are relatively prime. And so it's divisible by their product, which is 240. And so our answer is 240. So there you have it, different tricks that you can employ to test for divisibility that are useful on the GRE math subject test. If you like this video, please click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like it, please subscribe to this channel.